Okay, here I am in Katahdin Woods. Katahdin Woods in Lexington, Massachusetts. And it's not a very big forest, but it is nonetheless a forest. And here we are at the very early part of the forest. The trail is a trail running through here. And I'm showing you the uh, two uh, basically keepers the tree, the keepers of the forest at the entrance, the, the entrance keepers, these two major trees, um, which are right here in the early part of the forest, they're actually some of the biggest trees in the forest. And they are the leaders of the community of the area. The main leader is the one over there, the far one. Uh, this one is the partner to the main leader. Um, there's the partner of the main leader. I'm getting a little closer to the partner to the main leader of the forest, of this area of the forest. Very tall tree, very beautiful, tall, strong tree. And uh, all these short limbs here at the, down, at the bottom part are musical limbs. You can strike them and get musical notes. And as we walk through, just look carefully at the way the trees are balanced among each other. Um, it is my personal observation after being in this forest for several days in a row that uh, there is acoustical properties to how these trees organize themselves and I call it an acoustical choreography because sound is somehow or another relating these trees to each other and they are responding to each other in relation to sound as well. Sound vibrations is helping to space these trees and the design that you see here. Um, and also here's the main leader of, the, of this part of the forest. Here's the main leader. I always greet this main leader uh, as I enter the forest because this main leader will also tell me whether or not I can come in or not. You see last night or yesterday I came to the forest and it was raining and the wind was blowing and the leader was waving very strongly at the top. Those branches up there at the top were waving as if to say, no, come no further. And I got the message and uh, I turned around uh, because of course it was warning me that branches can come down. And when branches fall in high winds, they don't fall softly, they fall quickly. There's very little you can do about that. They just come down like, little, like a big you know, thud. Um, but here we are, look at this. Look at the spacing of the trees. And of course, when I get into this part, I start singing to them. So I yodel because the yodeling allows sort of a three-dimensional shape or shape of sound to bounce against the trees. And here we are at the beginning, still at the early part of the trail, and in this acoustical, acoustical choreography, this one tree sort of gives you a, a flow. You see how it flows right from the trail? It gives you a flow. It tells you come this way. And actually it's like the, a dance. If you, you can dance with this tree. You can dance with it. Right? In fact, you can dance with all these trees because you see the way they move. And yes, these trees are moving. They are not standing still. Even growth is movement. So, of course, the movement of their growth is also responding to sound bouncing back and forth between these trees. And eventually the birds will join in because 
they are hearing this, uh, they're already hearing the yodeling that's bouncing around the trees. Of course, sound in the forest does something very special. The trees, of course, bounce the sound around. They sort of share in the acoustical, uh, as I said, choreography, the acoustical dance of sound to the forests. Um, that's part of their work, is they move the sound around and they help all of the inhabitants of the forest understand what's happening. Um, they can, they're basically the communicators and the other communicators that pick up such birds and other things, they can pick up and communicate it even further what's going on in the forest. I'm beginning to hear some of the birds now. Uh, in this area of the forest I come to every day, I call this area the shrine because it has got a shrine feeling to it. And as we look around, you see how the trees have this sort of like um, amphitheater look to them. Um, and of course, nobody set that up. It's just natural. They grew that way. Uh, so as we step into the shrine of the amphitheater, look at what we see here. Look at this dancing tree. This dancing tree, it looks like a wonderful African sculpture. It is an African sculpture. Or rather, an African sculpture is it. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at the curve. What do you think made that shape? Was it sound? Was it wind? Was it vibrations? Let's look around. If you look closely and if you make sounds, suddenly all these threads, these little threads of branches begin to weave together and form designs. And here we are in the shrine. Here we are with this acoustical shape here scooting around to all these threads, these wires of electricity, and then we suddenly get this natural formation here of this little house, this center in the shrine. Of course, the trees just naturally form that. Um, and there's a plane overhead. So here we are at the shrine. I'm gonna be here. Um, here we had two other tall trees right here. Notice again, the spacing of these trees, how they have a little amphitheater effect right around each other. I wish you could be here to see that, but I'm showing it to you now through this videotape. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna be in here yodeling for a little while. I'm gonna stop the video here. Thank you for following me through this woods, and I encourage you to find your own investigation. Any forest, any woods area, find your own investigation into the acoustical choreography, the, the, the uh, way that everything is shaped and related by sound uh, to each other within the forest, any forest. Check it out.